Born in East End Grand Cayman in 1941, Dr. the Honorable Linford Pearson knew from an early age what he wanted to do. My mother tells me that from the time I was a little boy, around five or six, I told her I wanted, I don't know where I learned even the word accountant, but, and I couldn't spell it, I just, uh, she figured out what I meant, but that's what I wanted to do. Although upon graduating high school in Jamaica, he had different ideas. I wanted to go and uh, do, of all things, the ministry, become a preacher. But instead, he spent a year at sea with national boat carriers before moving back to Cayman. Guided from childhood by his personal mantra, anything worth doing is worth doing well, Dr. Pearson began his career as a civil servant. It was during this time that an opportunity arose to pursue that childhood passion. I was lucky enough to get a British uh, council scholarship and I was able to go to England and, and pursue accounting. That was back in 1970. Despite the challenges he faced studying and taking care of a young family, Dr. Pearson persevered, earning his ACCA in 1978, the first Caymanian to achieve a professional accounting designation. So when I came back, I became a deputy financial secretary to Mr. Sylvester Johnson. And from there, I moved to principal secretary, which is now the chief officer's position for health, education, and social services. After spending 16 years as a public servant, he decided to focus on putting his professional designation to work. He partnered with a well-known Canadian chartered accounting firm. The company was then called KPMG Thorn Riddell. Dr. Pearson continued to work in the private sector, also serving as a director for a number of private companies before being encouraged to run for a seat in the Legislative Assembly. Although his first attempt was not successful, he came back four years later and this time became an MLA. My first success was back in 1984, and I spent four years on the backbench, what is called uh, the backbencher in, in the Legislative Assembly. Then in uh, 1988 to 92 was my first time as a, as a member of um, the cabinet. It was then called the Executive Council. Some of the key projects Dr. Pearson oversaw during his time as a government minister included the upgrade of the telecommunications system to accommodate 911, the introduction of the Cayman Islands Building Code, the installation of the bulk fuel storage terminal in Cayman Brac, and the liberalization of the telecommunications sector. In 2003, Dr. Pearson was elected as Speaker of the Legislative Assembly, where he served until his retirement in March of 2005. After my retirement from government, I had always promised myself I wanted to do my, my graduate, postgraduate studies, and uh, I didn't realize what I was taking on when I started. Or maybe I wouldn't have done it, but uh, I was determined once I started that I would uh, complete it. True to his mantra, Dr. Pearson earned his Master of Arts degree in Pastoral Psychology and Counseling, followed by his Doctor of Philosophy degree in Educational Psychology, with a 4.0. So my accounting qualification, I think, was the foundation for me. That is why I'm so happy I was able to do accountancy, because without that foundation, I am not sure that I would have been able to uh, move into my higher studies without that basis that I, I, I receive as an accountant. It's hard to say if Dr. Pearson will slow down anytime soon, but one thing is for certain, he is truly a pioneer. Sometimes my wife would tell me, you know, you gotta realize that you're retired now. I don't feel that way. I feel that I still wanna go do things, you know? So, you know, that's, that's what drives me, doing things well and helping people. His advice for the next generation? I'm a faith-based person. I believe in God and I believe that uh, anything you want to do and you put your faith in Him and if it's His will for you to do it, then it's possible. Mm -hmm.